An ultra-rare sighting of a Russian combat vehicle was recently reported in the Donbas region of Ukraine. The 50-ton class armored mine clearance combat vehicle, known as the BMR-3MA Vepr, or Wild Boar, is not just an ordinary upgrade of its predecessors. In fact, it boasts innovative features and capabilities that provide a qualitative breakthrough for the engineering of armored vehicles as a whole. Its advanced protection technology, which includes explosive reactive armor and anti-mine protection, is admittedly similar to that of the T-90 tank, ensuring maximum protection for the crew and units, even when working under enemy fire. However, the Boar also has the added capability of clearing rugged or continuous paths in the terrain, making it an invaluable asset in challenging combat situations. The sighting confirms the Wild Boar's reputation as a highly effective and sought-after military vehicle. During the war in Afghanistan, the Russian armed forces were unable to ignore the significant damage caused by minefields. They thus set out to develop a specialized vehicle that could create safe paths for their own forces. Such was the genesis of the BMR-3 family of mine-clearing heavy vehicles, with the latest addition being the BMR-3MA Vepr or Wild Boar, a heavily armored mine clearance vehicle designed by the Ural Govonsevod Corporation. However, the vehicle took the spotlight more recently when it was unexpectedly sighted in the easternmost part of Ukraine in early 2023. The BMR 3MA Vepr was explicitly designed to clear minefields in support of heavily armored units in conflict zones, based on the proven chassis of the T-90A main battle tank, but boasting an enhanced mine protection design. Such protection ensures the safety of the crew when undermining up to 7.5 kilograms of TNT under its belly. In addition, the vehicle is equipped with advanced features such as nuclear, bacteriological, and chemical or NBC protection, ballistic protection, and the KMT-7 system for tread mine clearing. Its four-stroke multi-fuel diesel engine produces 840 horsepower, allowing it to easily overcome minefields at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. The BMR-3MA Vepr is operated by a two-man crew with additional capacity for three engineers, and features a five-ton payload in the cargo compartment. With the ability to create paths and lanes in anti-tank minefields, the Boar is an impressive feat of engineering. The crew cabin is equipped with hatches, viewing instruments, and an anti-aircraft machine gun, with Dynamic Protection Contact 1 installed in the front of the hull and wheelhouse. As a powerful and versatile vehicle, the Boar provides the Russian armed forces with a competitive edge in modern warfare and given its state-of-the-art features and robust design, it's no wonder it's been causing a buzz. Enhancements The Boar is not unlike other demining vehicles and tanks. It's around 7 meters in length and 3.8 meters in width, with a height of 2.93 meters, while its combat weight is about 50 to 51 tons, reasonably similar to that of standardized tanks. Although Vepr was built on the chassis of the T-90A tank, it's been significantly modified to meet the current requirements. For instance, the same armored core of the tank is used, but it's been revised to enhance the vehicle's protection for its new role. The armored wheelhouse replaces the tower, and the internal compartments have been rearranged to place the habitable compartment where the former combat compartment used to be. Additionally, the frontal combined armor of the tank core is enhanced by overlay units of dynamic protection and the central habitable compartment receives a kind of armor capsule. Moreover, the BMR-3MA Vepr's two-horsepower diesel engine uses planetary gearboxes for transmission, while the undercarriage is made up of six road wheels with torsion bar suspension on each side. For self-defense, the vehicle has various means, including an NSVT or cord machine gun on the roof of the cabin, and smoke grenade launchers on the sides of the habitable compartment. Additional firepower comes from an automatic machine AKS-74U with ammunition, hand grenades, and a pair of portable anti-aircraft missile systems. Furthermore, the BMR-3MA is designed to work with a wide range of built-in and mounted equipment, and it has its own broadband jamming station intended to suppress the radio channels controlling explosive devices. The vehicle also has fasteners for the installation of compatible trawls located on the front, 
while at the stern, there's a platform for storing and transporting trawl spare parts. Finally, a crane with manual drives and a carrying capacity of two and a half tons can be used for field repairs of trawls and other operations. All-Terrain As the newest armored demining vehicle, the MR3MA showcases a curious feature, the use of approaches previously applied to create other special machines. In fact, all demining devices of the BMR3 family were based on various tank chassis, and with the evolution of the line, different base designs were used, refining and improving special equipment in the process. While the BMR3MA used the T90's chassis, its predecessors, the BMR3 and 3M, were based on the T72A and T72S, respectively. However, the latest iteration marks the peak of technological progress. With the primary mission to explore minefields and create safe passages for people and vehicles, the Vepper is equipped with trawls and other devices that can clear the terrain of various types of mines. The KMT-7 minesweeping set, composed of rollers and rakes, is installed at the front of the vehicle, allowing it to deactivate and eliminate anti-personnel and anti-tank mines at a speed of up to 12 kilometers per hour. This impressive technology enables the vehicle to create a safe path almost four meters wide while protecting the crew and units, even under enemy fire. The BMR-3MA can carry a crew of two people, a driver and a commander, with places for three sappers. Remarkably, the sapper assault force can dismount and independently engage in the disposal of detected explosive devices, giving them the flexibility to deal with any situation that may arise. Beyond safety, the vehicle is designed with the crew's comfort in mind, allowing them to work for extended periods of time. And like the T-90 tank, the bore can perform under any circumstances, from clearing a minefield to exploring rugged terrain. Robotization In November of 2018, the Russian Ministry of Defense made an exciting announcement about the delivery of a new fleet of armored vehicles to the ground forces. However, what was more interesting was a promising similar-purpose robotic complex based on the BMR-3MA armored clearance vehicle. Named Breakthrough One, this innovative project equips the engineering machine with a set of automated and remote control tools. The best part is that the control system uses a noise-free radio channel, allowing for the operation of the equipment under challenging conditions. With this new development, the Vepper Armored Mine Clearance Vehicle can now operate both under the driver's control and as part of a robotic complex. This flexibility gives engineering troops an obvious advantage in the field, and the unmanned configuration allows the crew and sappers to leave the vehicle and take shelter, making it even safer for them. The Boar is genuinely a game-changer that increases the potential of engineering units of the engineering forces, providing a forecast of what the latest advancements in warfare will bring. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Make sure to join the Dark Footage community by hitting the subscribe button and exploring our Dark Documentaries channels for captivating insights into modern military history. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest releases. Stay tuned.